Dickie Bartolo, Mads Mad is trying to end the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv. A couple of years ago, we saw Pico Brew, not Peekaboo, Pico Brew, and we're back here, and Avi, I'm seeing like a totally different machine. What happened? Totally different machine. So when we started, we, we started with a professional machine, right? So that was designed around loose ingredients and full-on professional brewery tasting for uh, recipe development and designing new recipes, like anything you want to do. And what was, what was exciting about that, too, is that people who had never brewed before start doing that, too. And so home brewers are buying it and new brewers. But it's still... That's not where we want to be for everyone. You know, like, we've never brewed before. And this is, this is about making that next step and having something that's just so approachable and more affordable that anyone can brew fresh custom craft beer in their home and have it come out great. And, and so what are these boxes that we see? So these are recipe kits. And so this new machine, the Pico, is designed around Pico packs. And we'll have recipe kits that are from our own recipes, recipe kits that are from breweries. We have over 70 breweries that are already signed up on the program, more signing up every day. I just, I just got a note that uh, a little brewery up in the Yukon that I visited a couple years ago, uh, Yukon Brewing in Whitehorse, of all places, is, is signed up. And like, I had that beer and like, I was like, this is so great, and I'm never going to have it again because I'm not going to drive to Van to Alaska twice. And you call yourself a beer lover. I, you know what? There's a lot of beer to love. But it was a great beer, and I was like, I'm never going to have this again. And now all of a sudden I am. Like, I'm going to be able to have it, not just have it, but have it on tap at home the, the way it should be, right? Okay. Give us a quick demo. No, not a yeah. demo. I know you're not doing actual demos, right. but how it will work. I mean, it, it, it's an actual demo. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, oh, it's an actual demo. It's an actual demo. Demos, or, you know, it's yeah. a demo. <laughs> the, uh, so you'll put, your, you'll put your grain and hops packs in the machine. So just slide out the drawer. This will be in a package. This will be in a package. So in this box, you'll have two two containers in it, one for grain, one for hops. You'll put them both in the in the machine, slide it in. The machine will recognize that you've put it in there, and it'll recognize the pack. It'll, it'll recognize, like, oh, you put in the B-52 Blonde. Now, even though there's a fixed set of ingredients in the pack, you can't brew every beer from the same ingredients, but you can actually brew a range of beers from the same ingredients, and we want you to have that ability to customize, and this is about the beer that you want to drink. And so you, you go to that box with a blonde, and it's like, oh, you know what? Like, that's a blonde, but well, it's called the B-52. It's a bit of a big blonde. It's a like it's a little more bitter, and you're like, you know what? I actually I don't like that. I like my beer a little bit less bitter, and so you can you can adjust that. You can you can tune the bitterness down with the same ingredients. And similarly, alcohol level. You know that thing's at 5.7 percent. I like my beer a little bit sweeter and you know a little more concentrated. So just how many ingredients in there? The brewing will actually vary the alcohol level. Yeah, exactly. And so we adjust the basically time and temperature that the water is flowing through the grains, and we can adjust the extraction accordingly. Okay. And you know I'm very dumb about this. So what are we using as the liquid? Uh, so water. So just plain old water? Plain old water. So, you know, we start with uh, distilled Araro water um, because we want to be able to have a, a good known base and so we can have all the right adjustments in the pack that really get your water to be exactly what it should be for the style of beer. And you start out with water. I mean, this is real beer. This isn't, this isn't Mr. Beer Kit. This is, there's water, grain, hops, and yeast. Does Those this the come with, with the machine? It does, yeah. So the, the machine comes with one keg that's used for brewing and fermenting and also comes with a dispensing keg. And you can get additional ones, so you can get multiple batches at a time. I mean, that's why the keg is separate. So you can brew a batch, and then while it's fermenting, you can brew another batch. And how long does it take to do each step? So the brewing cycle is only about two hours. And then once you're done brewing, you have a keg of hot, unfermented beer called wort. And you let it chill. Uh, you could quick chill it if you want. Just let it chill overnight. Add the yeast. And wait for it to ferment. Nature has to do its thing. It depends on the beer. And so some beers, like a, you could have a brown that ferments out in three days or a, you know, an IPA in five to seven, an imperial. And, I, you know. and is this fermenting at room temperature? It, you know, is it a particular temperature for the yeast? Kind of a cool room is, is ideal. And, and for, each, for each recipe kit, we'll actually ship a little uh, temperature strip that you stick on the outside of the keg. And it's just oh, that's a, great. Just dummy thermometer, just like, yeah, too hot, too cold, just right. I mean, it's a little Goldilocks that's style. That's great. Now, the original uh, kit we saw years ago, mm -hmm. I think was $2,000. This is like half the size. Is it, is it half the price? Well, actually, if you sign up on Kickstarter right now, it's even less than that. And so on Kickstarter, they start at $4.99. We're shipping the first units in March, and we expect them to be closer to $9.99 retail when they launch in brick and mortar. In March for the full retail? Yeah, and for full retail. And do people like uh, beer? Well, let's take a look at that. Well, Dennis just showed you they wanted $200,000. 
uh, and they got $916,890. And we're, we're about a third of the way through the campaign, and we, we hope a lot more people see it and are as excited about it as we are. Really amazing. A great idea if you like beer. This is something to check out. Pico Brew. Dick Bartolo, Man's Madness Writer, and the Gizwiz. One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Pico Brew.